Ooh, could you go for a croissant or maybe a Texas cinnamon roll? Both right now. You can find both of them more at Bunam Bakery in Avon. It opened up last year right before the lockdown. Yeah, Melissa Cole got to visit this lovely pastry shop right after it opened. So this was before masks sure. and social distancing. Don't panic when you watch it, but they tell us that business is booming even though it's only takeout right now. You might want to add it to mm. your destination list. Take a look. We've got the croissant, traditional croissant, chocolate croissant, omelet croissant, and then we have a very traditional French cannelé. Welcome to Bunam Bakery, owned by sisters Kamla and Chan. It's Bunam, and it's named after our parents, so it's my dad's initial and then my mom's name, so Bunam. They were born in Laos, grew up in Texas, and now call Avon home. And it was just that typical refugee story. You know, my parents came here in the 80s, political asylum from during the Vietnam War. And they just had that dream of making sure, you know, their kids went to school, get an education, do well. Um, and I quit corporate America and I said, Chan, let's start this amazing business. We could do it. A girl's trip around the world was key in creating the perfect cuisine and atmosphere here. I took a six month sabbatical from work and just traveled around the world with Chan. And we went to probably backpack. everywhere in Italy. We didn't backpack, it was a little yeah. luxurious in that. <laughs> <laughs> so we went all over Italy, all over France. We went to Germany, we went to Asia. It was just a six months kind of like eat, pray, but more of like eating, no praying. <laughs> so was your trip kind of in the inspiration for this? Absolutely. I mean, we love to eat, yeah, like that's our thing. <laughs> like we went to places, like we researched best places to eat things. Like we literally went to France just to eat. Yeah. Chan does all of the baking, arriving during the wee hours of the morning, making everything from scratch. And are a lot of the recipes French recipes? A lot of French recipe, but also fusion with the American recipe too. And I want to bring the Asian flavor into the French bakeries also. Meanwhile, Kamala runs the front of the shop. I'm the face of the bakery. <laughs> and I'm the back. <laughs> we call it downstairs, upstairs, if you see Down Abbey. <laughs> The variety of pastries changes daily, but on any given day, you'll find scones, tarts, muffins, cookies. Then we have our famous cinnamon, ro cinnamon rolls, right? They are Texas cinnamon rolls. Texas because they're big? They're big and we're from Texas. Everything is bigger <laughs> in Texas, you know? And then for the British and the Canadian friends, we have a cheese and ham croissant. That looks ridiculous right it's there. It's so good. And that comes heated up? It comes heated up and it's very low calorie. <laughs> Tons of butter, but very low calories. Boonam also serves up lots of specialty drinks like fresh squeezed lemonade. We have ginger lemonade, we have lemongrass lemonade, we have maple syrup lemonade, which is really, really good. Wow, so maple syrup lemonade. Maple syrup lemonade. It's a recipe that Chan came up with and it's amazing. All right, sparkling maple lemonade. Mm. Oh my, that is delicious. so good, right? It's so refreshing and it's not very sweet. It's not sweet mm -mm. at all. A lavender latte, sign me up. That looks delicious. So there's lavender syrup in there? Lavender syrup made from scratch. Yeah. A shot of espresso. But you have to love lavender to love. Oh wow, you can taste the lavender. Yeah. Oh, that's delicious. Customers love the food and the European feel. I like the vibe a lot. It's nice. Um, they have a nice variety of things you normally wouldn't see, like at a regular bakery, like a Starbucks or whatnot. So the fact it's unique and more Parisian, more European, I think that's our appeal to us. And I see your pastry's gone, but what did you order? <laughs> yes. You know, this was a, a biscuit, a biscuit that was savory. So it had chives and bacon and really tasty. Oh my God, just look at the interior. I, uh, I was following them on social media and I had been seeing what they were, how they were decorating and it's just gorgeous in here. Like you walk in and it feels like you're in Paris. It's like the wallpaper. Oh my God, so beautiful. The bathroom even. I mean, it's just every part of this place is, it's an experience, I would say. I so it's yeah. Just, it's a lot of hard work for her. Easy for me. Because <laughs> you're selling the stuff. I'm selling. All I have to do is be like, hi, welcome to Bunam. And then do this, my band white hand, then do this. And then people make up their mind. And by the end of the day, are most things gone? Most of the day, we sell out by three o'clock, but we've tripled our order just because people come at three and there's nothing there and they get that sad face. Yeah, you don't want, want that. No, we want people to be happy. So we've actually tripled the volume of the stuff that we have. And even though we close at five, we have a few things left. People can still come and pick up 
what's left because it's fresh every day. So anything you eat the next day is made that morning. Wow. And again, we just want to let you know that story was shot yep. before the pandemic. That's why you didn't see any masks or social distancing. distancing. But Boonam Bakery has, is open for curbside takeout right now. The cafe is too small, they say, for social distancing. So you just go to the takeout window. You'll find more information at boonam.com.